What's up, what's up? Hang on, I'm trying to get something here. What's up out there? All right. Hang on one second. Let me get let me get down here. This is going to be news to be talked about for a long time. And I'm about sick of Donald Long's lips. So just one second here. Okay, does anybody out there know, does anybody know who made the logo for Donald Long? I'm trying to figure that out. No, but there's going to be a whole lot of dancing going on. Sorry, hang on. I'm getting on here right now. I'll get to the point. I said it'd be on at 830. I'm on 830. This is going to be good, so you want to tune in. Hang on. Uh, <clears throat> let's see here. I want to make sure to share this. So everybody in the universe knows what's fixing to happen. In the universe. Shocks the world. Okay, here we go. All right. Post it in one other place and then we'll be ready to roll. Is Donald Long on here? Hey, is anybody coming to Elite's... Uh, Elite 16 from Florida. We have a racer in need that needs some parts brought up from Florida. Um, anybody that's coming halfway or, or. Hey, Michael, why do you always say piggybacking what? Are you that dumb? If anybody's piggybacking, it's Donald Long piggybacking. Um. Okay, now, and I'm glad. Did I see Nizer get on here? Let's see, did I see the Nizers get on here? Let me see here. Mr. $50,000, he won just here recently. Let me look down through here. I'm looking, sorry. I thought I seen Miss Nizer or, or someone get on. No. We need to go tag Kenny Hubbard. Is he on? Please shut Donald Long down. All right, here we go. First off, thanks for everybody everybody tuning in. This is gonna be short and kind of sweet. Got enough people on here. What's up, Big Justin? Got enough people on here. I am tired of listening to Donald Long's big fat mouth. You heard me say a big fat mouth. He continues to hang on to the pro mods like, uh, like they don't matter and that uh, radio versus a world is everything and pro mod's nothing and unless you're Donald Long, you're nothing and uh, wah, 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 wah. What's up, Chris? So, here's the deal, Donald Long, and I want everybody to be clear. This is happening at the Elite Motorsports Elite 16. Now, I'm going to put, I'm going to say a word. Pro mod versus the world. Pro mod versus the world. There's radio versus the world, right? This is pro mod versus the world. So everybody needs to know right now, you need to share this. Donald Long has been begging for a pro mod to line up next to a radio 315 tire car. That's exactly what he's been smoking all over the internet, tagging me, tagging this person, tagging that person. Well, Donald Long, guess what? Guess what? 
I'm going to walk over here. I'm going to show you something. Let me turn this camera around. I want to walk over here. This says, does that say the Elite Sweet 16 qualifiers, right? Elite, right? That's what it says. There is somebody in this group right down in here. There's somebody in the top 16, not down here in your top this top 32, I think, is what this one was. Where was Keith? Oh, there he is right there. Not over here on this one. Hang on. Not over here on this. Oh, Keith's number three right there, isn't he? Yeah. Not that one. Oh, well, he's probably going to be in a winner circle. So we'll... Wait. There's... Oh, wait. Notorious. So anyway, I'm just going around here, and I love my radial tire. I love my radial tires. I'm going to turn it back around. Love my radial tires. I love them. I love radial tire racing. I love all the radial tire buddies. We have a good time. There is a radial versus a world car coming on a set of 315s to race at the Elite 16. They're coming on a set of 315s to race the Elite 16. So, now, you don't have to talk about it anymore. The car is going to be there, and I invite any other radial tire guy that wants to come and play. I didn't have a rule for a tire. I don't have a rule for a tire. Come on. I have rules for the class. And he's going to be, he's going to match the rules for the class. So we don't have to worry about that. But he's coming. And he's going to show up on a set of 315s and he's going to race against the Pro Mod. So Q1, Q1, you get to see if a radial tire can go down a pro mod prep track. Isn't that what you said? So, track prep is pro mod, the guy said. He doesn't care. He's been fast on regular prep. He doesn't need all the glue. He said he's been fast without it. He's been fast without, and I know he's been fast, just so you all know. He's been fast on a good racetrack. He's been fast on a bad racetrack. He doesn't care. So, there ain't no Wonder World freaking glue monster going out there and putting glue down on the track for it is 100% Pro Mod Prep, period. Period Pro Mod Prep. He gonna line up in the lanes next to every other Pro Mod and go down the racetrack. Plain and simple. This guy said he's gonna top, he's gonna be in the top qualifier. He said he can go 60s. He said he can, no, it isn't Jeff Sitton. Jeff's sitting in that top 16. Yeah, he is, isn't he? I forgot he was, yeah. Oh, I'm not going to say it ain't him then. I ain't going to say it. I, I'm telling you. Here, let me go over here again. Hang on. Because I was in the top 16, so that's why I'm doing it. So one of these cars in the Elite. You see that? Elite Motorsports. Elite 16. One of these guys somewhere along this way. is going to come and run Radio Force the World. Now, none of them guys down there, them, one down there, and, um, it could be, let me see if he's, he could be, yeah, he is in that one too. Let's go over here and see if he's in this one. Let's see here. I'm looking around. He could be in that one too. So, anyway, now, now that you all know, there ain't no more bull talking. There ain't no more bull crap. Share this to everywhere. A radial versus a world 315 tire is coming to run the Pro Mod race. Uh, we have no rules on the, on the tire. We do have a rule on the class. So whatever combination he's running, which I'm not going to tell you, Whatever combination he's running, he's got to abide by those rules in that class. So, and he can switch. If he doesn't like the radial tires, wants to put a set of big tires on and go ahead and race, he can. I'm just telling you, a 315's coming. 315's coming. Nizer's too scared. He's going to stay home. He likes that sticky glue track. He can't compete over here with the big tire guys, so he... We got to, we got to let, you know, the big tire guys kind of left him. So, unless Hubbard thinks he's strong enough, unless Hubbard 
The tuner thinks he's strong enough to bring that car. Bring it on, Donkey Kong. There's someone else coming. There's someone else coming. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Let's see what you got. I'm calling you out right here. Bring Nizer's car. You got a way to you got to put some weight on that car. You got to put just a little bit of weight on that car. I know it's light. You got to put a little weight on it. Not much, but let's see if you can come win this fifty thousand dollars. Let me just tell you what, Lee. You need to sign up. You need to sign up. You need to come play. You get eight qualifiers. Eight qualifiers. Hey, let me let me go over something real quick so everybody understands. You all have. I think I think the Midwest Pro Mod Series guys have mistaken a little bit and uh, got a little bit confused. If you are running the the Midwest World Finals, the Midwest Pro Mod Series World Final, that is a race inside of a race. Okay, so every qualifier, Q1 is your first qualifier, Q2 is your second qualifier, Q3 is your third qualifier, for the Elite 16 and for the World Finals. Then first round is Q4 for the World Finals. You have to enter that race. Randy Merrick's a bad dude. He's coming. Heck yeah, he's coming. Hell, you need some help? Come on down. You can pit next to me and I'll help you, Lee. I need another nitrous. Let me tell you what. I ain't going to tell you. Stevie, I, I don't know. I, I'll let you. I'll, I'll, we'll see if he's coming later. There's, I, I'll surprise everybody. I hope he does because I'm going to drag him from here to New York. Anyway, so y'all know, 315s. Radio versus the world. It's called Pro Mod versus the world. If anybody, I need someone to make me a logo that says Pro Mod versus the world. I'm going to make one. It's going to say Pro Mod versus the world. Guess what? Not just radio, Pro Mod versus the world. I'm the first to do it, Donald. Pro Mod versus the world. You can keep talking about it. You can keep talking about it, but I'm doing it. So, if you all are not paying attention online, for the Elite Motorsports Elite 16, for Summit Racing Equipment, uh, Top Sportsman, Jerry Bickle gives you a second chance race, Stroud Safety, and Chili Willie. I'm telling you guys, you need to be prepared for this race right here. It is this weekend. It is this weekend. You're right. I'm telling you, it don't matter who comes. They're coming on a set of 315s, and I'm inviting anyone else on a set of 315. If you go look at the Midwest Pro Mod Series rules and your car matches that, that rule set, matches that rule set, bring it like it. Bring it. But you're going to be on, we're going to be on Pro Mod prep. Now, there's been all this radio prep while our Pro Mod races, and what Pro Mod's been running on them. Yes, it's live stream, bangshift.com. So now a radio's got to run on Pro Mod Prep. So Midwest Series, Midwest Pro Mod Series is to the front right off the bat. Elite Motorsports, Richard Freeman, thank you again for sponsoring this deal. I can't thank Summit enough for sponsoring this deal. And the one thing about it, so everybody knows, I... Uh, there was a post up about all the NHRA guys coming and this and that. If you all looked at the schedule that we worked real hard on this year uh, to make sure that we went on anybody's races and stuff, if you all take a look at it, there ain't one person that's not in our series on that flyer. Every one of them are on that flyer. Every one of them. I appreciate every Midwest Pro Mod Series racer, hands down. I appreciate every one of them. I'm waiting to see these NHRA guys come over here and get the little tail slap. Same thing, same thing. Gone home. A little different over here in the real world. Don't get me wrong, there are bad dudes over there. I qualified at my third race. Should have qualified at my first one. Driver would have been better, I would have. I'm just telling you, yeah, it is turbo power rather. And I'm excited to see the turbos that are coming. I'm very excited to see what they got underneath the tank, because I can promise you one thing, I know some of the tuners that are on it, and it's gonna be awesome. Radio versus the world, you're gonna be on standby, Q1, Pro Mod versus the world, and you're gonna be a part of it. Anyway, if y'all have any questions, go to MidwestProModSeries.com. Hey, make sure you go like all our sponsors page, make sure you go like the Midwest page, make sure you go and support all the other race series, all the other race series, I'm telling you, we, we, we believe it or not, 
PDRA and NMCA and us and NHRA. Uh, and I'm really NHRA, but, but I mean, we work together to try to make sure that we're not on top of each other's um, races so that we can make sure that we take care of the sport that we love so much. Um, I, I want to thank PDRA and uh, I want to thank NMCA, both for for working together to make sure that uh that we did good and most of all the racetracks i'm excited about going to route 66 i'm excited to be back in texas i'm excited to be at st louis i'm excited to be in bowling green again i'm excited to be in i mean tulsa again i mean everywhere we're going is going to be awesome so and to be at route 66 this year is something that i've always wanted to race here and i never have so anyway ricky smith here's your name that's coming there you go. Ricky Smith's going to be there. Pro, Pro Mod versus the world. I need a logo for it. Pro Mod versus the world. Yes, you heard right. Pro Mod versus the world. 315's coming to play. Let's see if we can send him home.